ますわ Where am I? We are between realms. I'm afraid a tragedy has befallen your home at the hands of my brother. We have chosen to depart this world, but in our absence, I would like to offer you the chance to return to it. I don't understand. Mankind is no more, yet your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. Creation, destruction, choice, and knowledge were the ideals upon which humanity was made. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If brought together, these four relics will summon my brother and I back to your world, and humanity will be judged. If your kind has learned to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you, and humanity will be made whole again. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable, and your world will be wiped from existence. Until your task is complete, you will reincarnate, but in a manner that ensures you are never alone. I'm sorry, but that world just isn't as dear to me without her. If I may, I'd rather return to the afterlife to see Salem. You will not find her there. You mean she isn't gone? Salem lives, but the woman you hold dear in your memories is gone. Heed this warning. Where you seek comfort, you will only find pain. So, will you? I'll do it. Very well. Our creation rests within your hands. And so, Ozma was reborn. <laughs> Where am I? found himself in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Cities looked different. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and claws and were locked away in cages. And without the blessing of the gods, no one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. No one but himself and a woman known as the Witch. The Witch? During his years of travel, he heard the same frightened whispers that spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded dark powers in the wilds among the beasts and monsters. Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem and decided he needed to see what she had become. Call it magic, or call it something stronger. But in that moment, the two knew exactly who it was that stood before them. What do we do now? Whatever we like. As Salem and Ozma recounted the events which had brought them back together, each withheld parts of their story. Salem, fearing Ozma would reject her, blamed the end of the world on the gods. Ozma still unsure of where the truth lay, kept his task and the relics a secret. Though time passed and all seemed well, Ozma's conversation with the God of Light still lingered in his mind, 
He had found happiness, but humanity seemed more divided than ever before. Are you surprised? This world is quite literally godless. These humans have no one to guide them. Perhaps that's all they need. What are you saying? We could become the gods of this world. Our powers surpass all others. Our souls transcend death. We can mold these lands into whatever we want. What you want. Create the paradise that the old gods could not. The hearts of men are easily swayed. two amassed a following. That following grew into a prosperous kingdom. And at the head of that kingdom blossomed a family. Family? Are we sure this is right? You said we needed to bring humanity together. In order to do that, we have to spread our word and destroy those who will deny it. What are we doing? <gasps> this isn't what he asked of me. What did you say? Yeah. It was a miracle. Their children could perform magic. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mother! Father! Look! It was a miracle. Their children could perform magic. But what should have been a joyous occasion was short-lived. Ozma told Salem everything. The true reason the God of Light had brought him back. The relics that lay scattered around the world. And the day of judgment he had been told to prepare for. Don't you see? None of that matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can replace them with what they could never be? Um... began a long and painful cycle of death and rebirth for Ozma. Some lives were spent in mourning. Many were spent attempting to forget it all. But no matter what, his mind would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. And as the centuries went on, Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with which he had been paired. But no matter where or how he lived, her presence was always felt. If humanity were ever to stand a chance of being united, one thing was clear. 
he had to destroy Salem. Knowing he could never rid the world of her through any mortal means, Ozma sought out the power of the relics. Armed with my knowledge, he believed he could fulfill his promise to the God of Light. Where are the other relics? He asked me his question. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him my answer... How do I destroy Salem? Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. So... It started off with a fairy tale that's generic, the happily ever after sort of shit, and then Ospin fell ill, and this is where it all began. The moon being destroyed, the reincarnations, Salem being turned into this evil goddess. Yeah. 